How you doing guys? Uh, this is the last uh, couple of matches from the other night uh, that I was supposed to put up. Um, finally got around to doing the editing for it, so decided to put it up now. Um, currently running in the Lerva, um, the Crocken, he's in his T34, uh, Nonny is in the Tiger 2, um, and the Tom McGrath is in his Tiger P. Uh, Erlenberg. Eh, don't like Erlenberg. Everybody just sits in the hills at the back and does nothing. But, oh well. If it works, it works. Um, but yeah, the, the Lerva is actually a really good tank. Um, great for side scraping. For, for angling, it's not bad as well. The armor is actually really strong. Um, guns are really good, really accurate. Uh, slightly low penetration, but it works. Does a lot of damage. <coughs> Please excuse me as well, I'm actually full of the cold at the moment, so my voice may be a little bit off and I can't stop sniffling. Coughing. Oh, yeah. Anyway. So we're all, the four of us are going up to the top of the hill just now to see where everybody's going to come from. Um, Arlen Berg has a tendency that one side people just pile through. Um, so we're going to wait kind of see where it's all going to come from, see if people are actually going to go and sit on the cap. Yeah. Now obviously if people sit on the cap, we could go down and try and block them off basically, try and stop them capping. As you're supposed to do. <coughs> so, what's going to come first? Uh, nobody on the cap. Hmm. Very quiet for a change. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So I mean, only we're gonna go down now and uh, block off the cap. Try and stop the uh, team from winning so damn early, which you've actually seen before if you. Uh, uh, one of the games we had before, you were sitting back off the cap, and the enemy team just rolled into it, cap, and won the game. I think it was only three tanks that died in the whole battle. Ooh. Yeah, I want to get his tracks. Oh, well. <coughs> Can I try to hit as well? Yeah, for anybody who watches the PC version or plays the PC version of the game, you'll notice the, um, the little... I say the like title things that come up in the top corner. Um, basically, it's just like an indicator um, of obviously what's happening. It's actually really good if you're taking blind shots because you actually know if you've hit someone and actually it tells you if you've done damage as well, which is a bonus part as well. Mm. Oh, that was terrible. I missed that shot. Uh, this game was a little bit of a hit and miss for me, I did. I, I was, didn't do heaps of damage, but some of my shots were just horrible. I just basically clutch shotting and it's just missing or just basically just not aiming enough. Waiting for the, uh, the uh, aiming circle to actually come down. <coughs> little panther's in the way, so me and Nani are going to go around and get some damage in on him. Try and get him out of the way. Ah, oh, I'm on fire as well. Well, that'll give me some stuff, I suppose. <laughs> 13 damage units. Yeah, no, he's got kill. Nice. So, we're getting quite a lot in here, so it's not too bad. Right, what else we got? I'm waiting for this AT15 to come around. Um, but I'm actually. You can see me looking over to the left as well every now and again. That's because. The enemy team are pushing around the left hand side, and there's not a lot to stop them coming over the bridge. Um, and unfortunately, if I get detected, they can actually get clean shots from the other side as well, onto my left hand side. So, Let's see if we can get any cheeky shots. Ah, oh, and that's me detected. Oh, God. 
And I think it was pretty much at this moment where I was sitting realising, yeah, this may have been a bad idea sitting on this side. <laughs> I think I actually should have got, uh, gone across to the other side. Oh, that's a track seat. He shot from AT-15. And then look. Yeah, keep me tracked all tracked like that, that's not a problem. It's just the ones on the left that I'm going to worry about. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, come on. Yeah, it's me taking shots from all over the place now. Now, look enough, he goes away. I ruined this shot. Completely ruined it. Still getting hit from that side. And that's the. Yeah. I literally get into an angle to these towards these people on the left without that AD fifteen shooting my back, so I mean, you see this thing just take shot after shot after shot. It's an amazing tank when you get it angled. <coughs> Ugh. Panther two shooting into me. I think it's two two T forty threes. Sitting over that left hand side as well. I mean, you can see the shots going, but like where they've gone in at the back of the turret, those are the ones that are doing the damage. You know, most of the shots going at my side are literally just getting eaten by the tracks, bouncing off. I'm just getting pummeled sitting in here. Guns gone, turrets gone, tracks wrecked. <laughs> yeah, well. Stopping them capping, so it's not too much of a problem. But uh, it's too many people coming over that left hand side now, I think. Still taking. Jesus. Oh. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Him? Oh, oh, I've gone out too far. Oh no. Oh, that was terrible. I guess pretty much the biggest mistake I made there was just rolling out in front of that T 34 there, so. What we got? Uh, just is it back? Yeah. Tony Bob still sitting on the cap, stopping them getting the cap. Yeah. Driver dead man. I don't know if Nani noticed this, but her loader is actually dead. <laughs> well, he's injured or dead, or I don't know where, however you want to see it. But our loader is out of action anyway. Oh, I had to tell McGrath on as well. I can't, I, I can't remember seeing McGrath in now. I know he died at some point because he's not alive anymore, but. With all those tanks piling in the other side, it's pretty much going to be a big problem sitting on this flag now. Oh, there's a medium tank behind it. Ah, it's one of those pesky little t 40 Ah. Hey, you see her here, she's actually, she's actually trying to uh, angle in a minute. She's, I think it's you. Yeah, she's trying to angle her armour, but <laughs> tank coming in behind her as well. She doesn't have much of a choice to do that. Now you probably noticed at the start of the match I was actually pinging the map for a heavy tank that was sitting in the back. Now the heavy tank that was sitting in the back was this Conqueror. He sat at the back of the map and waited and came round the far side. Hence the reason why he's taking no damage. And I'm not sure if he was ninja killing or what. But this guy was a pretty much a jackass. He could have easily came in on that cap or sat at the top to try and block them coming over or whatever. But ah. Uh, he was just a jackass. And you can tell he's well, he isn't very good at the game in a minute. He'll he just strolls straight across a big open field. Basically I, I, I don't have a clue what the hell this guy would be trying to do. Just roll straight over the straight over the front of every freaking anime tank in the team. Well, like bar one, because he's at the top killing her otter. Yeah, yeah, and there he goes. <coughs> oh, what we got, what we got, what we got. Come on. I was actually hoping that 
Um, artillery would have got the kill there, but nah, wasn't to be, I suppose. Hey guys, just sitting in the middle of a field. Enemy tank shooting at you. And you stroll across sideways on so they can do holes in your tank. Well done. Retard. <coughs> So you can tell this is going to be a loss. I, I don't have a clue what this guy was doing. Yes, you're in a tier 9 tank. No, you don't have heat to bar. You're a donut. The gun and everything is great on the computer. Why the fuck do you do this? I don't know. Yeah. I suppose it happens every now and again. No. Oh. Yeah, and there we go. Typical. That was quite a bad game actually. Had better. But I just thought, yeah, it's there. It was okay. And it was one of the best games I had for showing you the, the shots you can take in that larva. <coughs> oh god. Do, 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 do. As you can notice, we're on a times five weekend as well. That was a bonus. Oh, it wasn't even times five weekend, I think it was a times five week, but I can't remember. That was obviously obviously only on the uh, first one of the day you would get times five XP, which was pretty cool. Right, so what's next? I can't remember what we had next. What do we have? Ah. Yeah. Alright, let's just, just check in the uh, percentage on wins and so on and so forth. As you can tell, I don't survive a lot of my battles. 32% yeesh. I actually thought I survived a little bit more than that. I mean, it's, I, I do survive quite a few, but maybe I survived more lately than I did before. <laughs> I don't know. Hit ratio is quite crap as well, I suppose. It's pretty horrible. As you know, it's like with T-34, uh, that was like the first premium tank I actually went out and bought. I made an absolute shed load of money in that thing. Awesome tank. Talk to you is an awesome tank, but I won't have three games, because we normally only do it in the platoon, so. Alright, so, I would lever. Nani's in Tiger 2 again. Atomic Wrath, he's taking his T-54 out. Um, he got the... Uh, Big turret, the big gun on that thing, not long ago, so he likes it. It's quick, it's maneuverable, can't go wrong with it, I know. I obviously have McGrock, and he's sitting in his T 34 again. Um, he basically doesn't have another tank at our tier yet, so. Yeah. What have I got, I know. Yeah. Not bad. Killed more than of the battles I've had anyway, so that's a good thing. <laughs> it's actually quite a poor ratio. Um, I suppose that's what happens when you just drive out in front of the people and hope for the best. And that's what I used to do over all the tanks till I actually got good at it. <coughs> well, I say good. I'm okay, I suppose. Do have some great matches, especially my German tanks. Um, Seem to die very quickly in anything that isn't German. <laughs> Apart from 183. 183 was an awesome. That was awesome, that tank destroyer. <coughs> uh, same as the PC version as well. The 183 on the Xbox has been nerfed. Um, they've taken the penetration down on the premium ammo. The premium ammo was evil as hell. A one shot and freaking Tiger 2s and all sorts of stuff. It was awesome. Right, so we've got Prokrovka and counter battle again. Pin in the ass. Oh, tier 10 match. Right. Ah. <coughs> at this moment, you'll actually see me Let's go. pretty much staring at the mouse that's behind us. Um, Nonipop actually had never seen the mouse before. Um, she never actually played the PC version of the game, she's only been on the Xbox. 
so as you can tell, she, <laughs> she's admiring the um, uh, the mouse. Mouse is supposed to be small, in that size. An absolute animal of a tank as well, that thing. Um, obviously, me and uh, Atomic Graph are actually on lines towards the mouse at the moment. Still not 100% sure if we prefer that over the E100, I don't know. I suppose I have to wait until I've played a couple of games. I never got that on the PC version of the, uh, of the game. I went straight for the E100, but that was a mistake. E100 is not that great. The big gun that's on is quite garbage, to be honest. Can help. Can have a hell of a game in it, but uh, just one of those tanks. And I decided at this point. No one was up on hell, so I was like, right, we'll go up there, see if we can try and stop anything coming over the top, because everyone just piled forward. Um, really need to get a view over the top of the uh, the circle, the cap circle that's in the middle, and obviously to see if there's anything coming up the side of us, because if they come up the side of us, they can get shots clean across this side of the map. Which can be quite annoying. Especially when you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're getting shot from four different directions. So. As you can see, um, Nonny Pop and Atomic Grass went up towards the middle of the map. Uh, tried to see what was coming over. I think Nonny Pop actually comes this side of the map, I can't remember. Uh, and as you can tell, the maneuverability of this thing is not the greatest. Oh no, no, he's on the other side of the map. She's over the other side of the railway lines up in that top corner. Ah, that's Atomic Wrath that comes this side of the map. That's who it was. Ah, he's trying to... Uh, basically putting that thing to work. Uh, he's going to try and come up here and help me over this side. With a uh, back chat and everything on the enemy team. At this point I'm expecting something to come flying over the top of this hill. But, I don't think it actually happened at all. No one pretty much came up this side. I think there was something that comes up later on, but... They didn't put a lot over this side. Same as us, which was a bonus point. But I think with Atomic Graph, when he ran up onto that middle part, I think they might have slowed them down or changed their mind at least. Um, not 100% sure on that one, though. No. Uh, I hate having a cold. It sucks. Know, see if I'm getting shots I, you'll notice me a lot of the time I keep aiming across towards the tracks um, pretty much trying to see if I can get a clean shot on anything that's moving over there although 9 times out of 10 it's nothing oh there was a light down the front as well oh that was terrible I can't miss that shot that was garbage <coughs> high slow it's T71 ugh he sits, I think, at the bottom of the hill for most of this video, I think it was. And he just sits down there spotting us for everything that's in front of us, or over at the side. Um, there wasn't much, though. Ah, there we go. Object 268. Yeah, right. So there's an object and a VK over there. I know there's a bat chat. The bat chat is here somewhere. I think he's actually down in front of us somewhere. Um, I think it's a... Is it a tiger, I think it is? A cross on the, the hill in front of us? Can't quite remember. But I'm sure it was this man. He was over there. He's just sitting on the hill doing... I don't know. I don't actually think he's doing anything. He's just being dumbass. Hold oh, on. Ah, a little light tank's moving down. I don't want to go too far forward. Ah, there he goes. There's a bad shot. Ah, uh, come on. Ah, terrible shooting. Come on. Another light tank coming over as well. Come on, bloody gun. Now, this thing is that uh, it's really accurate at range as well, which is the bonus part. Yeah, that's my first damage in hit, finally. Right <coughs> that bad chat is just a pain in my butt. 
Ah, and that's one of my platoon mates died. I think that was Nonny Pop. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Nonny Pop and McCrock are both gone. Uh, still only two of us on the cell though. I would have thought somebody would have come over this side as well. The, you know, the cap circles over this side. I think Nani actually did come over this side trying to get into the cap circle, try and force the enemy to move. But unfortunately, I don't think she quite made it. I think she ran into that badge cap. And obviously, tier 10 medium against <laughs> tier 8 heavy. It's, it's not exactly a fair fight, to be honest. Especially though, if you know what you're doing with your tank, you know. And Badjad's freaking evil as hell. Quick, you know, it's got a pretty good gun on it as well. And obviously, auto loading tanks are a pain in my ass. I have done, uh, obviously, the Waffen trigger. Um, the auto loader and that thing is just something else. Some amount of damage you can put down with that thing. Um, I'm also doing the, uh, the American line. I uh, want the uh, T69. Um, taking more bunches, as always. Obviously, I'm trying to get to the um, T57 heavy. Uh, I think it's I, it's still a fair amount of XP I need for the T54 E1. So, so you might see it eventually. Might be up videos of it. No, definitely T57 heavy. Oh, One of our tracks oh, is damn it, man. We can't move. They almost got it. Ah, that now Artie's taking the track. Great. I don't like Artie. Artie's a pain in my butt as well. Artie's always sitting. Always seems to pick. Either me or one of my platoon mates to <laughs> take out pretty much like a. Damn. <coughs> British artillery is not long since come out in the uh, World of Tanks on the Xbox 360 as well, which is British artillery is pretty strong. Uh, the lower tiers doesn't seem to have the range of other artillery, but the rate of fire is great though. I haven't played art in a while though, so <laughs> everything's just not going well. Come on, you little fucker. Ugh. Ah, oh, shot bounced. Dude, this tank really is good for bouncing shots. Tiger 2. Something else shooting at me there as well. Not doing a lot of damage to me yet, man. Hey, hit a bad chat. Get rid of that little shit. Shot. Terrible shot. Oh. There we go. See, that's a shooting the lower glaciers to the Tiger too. A couple hundred yards isn't too bad. 300 yards, I think, or something. Just over 300 yards. Definitely a good gun. I'm still bouncing shots. People aren't really doing much to me at the moment. Definitely don't want him shooting at me, of course. That object down there. The last thing I want you to meet is that guy. Take it two again. Go for Glacius. Oh, I missed that one. Garbage. Come on. Enemy armor is damaged. Ah. Oh, he's turned side on. Ah, yeah, that'll do. Wanna turn on side on in front of me? Go ahead. Take that shot any day of the week. Come on. <coughs> so, yeah. Uh, I think I was at this point. <coughs> oh. Right. So T seventy one and the back chat coming behind us. Take out T seventy one. Clear shots on him. Uh. Nice. Oh, wasn't even the back chat. No. Yeah. Yeah, it was our pattern that took him out, that's what it was. That's still an awesome time. The pattern's epic. <laughs> At this point, I'm just literally trying to shoot 
buildings out the way, try to clear all the buildings out the way so we can lift up the cross, but ugh, it doesn't work. <laughs> <sighs> May as well try something. Right, there we go. And the boy should be taking him out. Right, that's him gone and all. There's a tiger and something else remaining there. Yeah, at the moment, I just do not have the view then to see them there. Yeah, he's dead now anyway. Ah, it's just that tiger. Yeah, it was a tiger sitting on the back hill. Ah, he's literally sitting on the front end of it. He's not even hiding, he's just sitting on the front end of the uh, of the uh, hill there in front of me. Let's go kill him. I'll try and get some damage. I've not done a lot in this game. Come on, where are you? Ah, there he goes. See? Sitting on the front of the hill. Do pretty much naff all. Nah, I'm not gonna get a kill and shot on him. Someone's gonna take him out. There you go. And that's the end of that one. Not too bad. Uh, what damage should we do in that one? Never did a great deal of damage in this one. Oh, we got. Bit of money though. 2000 XP. Just. Well. Just over 80,000 silver, can't go wrong with that. It's quite poor though. And they finished top, somehow. Uh, must be because of spot and damage, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Not the greatest of games for the platoon, unfortunately. Still one though, which is a bonus. <coughs> Bum, 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 bum. No. What's this one? Ah, this was the. Uh, oh, this is actually the last game I had in the M46 pattern, the tier 9 pattern. Um, decided it was, it was after, pretty much after this game that I decided I was just going to use the free XP I had to unlock the Q10 pattern. Although it wasn't a great deal, I it was only like. 20,000 or something I needed, but decided just to get rid of the tier 9 version and buy a 10. <sighs> See how good that one was. It looks to be much better though. Armor's pretty good on it. Well, I say the armor's pretty good on it. Turret armor's okay, but if obviously in a tier 10 match, that's not gonna make much of a difference. I think it's like 178 millimeters of armor or something like that. But uh, tier 10 tanks that do 300 and odd millimeters of penetration with premium ammo, it isn't going to make much of a difference where I turn it like that. You just got to well, take your shot and get the hell out of there and maneuver away from them, I suppose. Here's. Maneuverability and everything is your the main reason the pattern actually survives in battle. I mean, if you go <laughs> charging in like a heavy tank with heaps of armor, and well, you ain't gonna last very long. And that's pretty much what I do in this game, I think. So, right, so we're going into town. Um, I'm in the pattern. Uh, Atomic Rassy is in Centurion uh, 1. Uh, Nani, I believe she's in her T50, and McRocket again, he's in the T34, he's pretty much been in that T34 for every replay, so, yeah. <laughs> right. Let's see what's going to happen down here. As you can tell, we're just going straight into the town. Um, Best, it seems to be the best place for us to go. I, I don't like going down the back uh, in that valley because you know all the big tank destroyers and artillery just pummel you if you go down there. Right. She's first. Right. Yeah. Great. T54. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'll try and use these outcrops. Try and angle. <laughs> Say angle. American tanks are hard as hell to angle, but it is it is doable. You try and angle around these uh, the outcrops, the the rubble from the buildings. Try and use that as much as I can. Try and stop any shots coming in on me. Well, unfortunately, no one's on the the other side. She's trying to get some shots in. She's got the, uh, she doesn't have the big gun on the E50 yet. Oh, yeah. uh, I say it as well. Oh, good, he sees that before. Yeah, he just suicides into town. <laughs> I don't think he's not quite sure. I mean, yeah, and this is a bad idea as well. Side on out in front of that people before. Yeah. Oh, what can you do? I just made a massive foul up on this one. I'm surprised that one went through. Sometimes T-54 in the front can bounce a lot of shots as well, I've noticed on this. Can't remember if it's the same on the PC version though. And I think it's a side shot I'm going to take that. Right? And the corner, we've got, we've got, oh. I totally wrecked that shot there. Can't believe I shot down each that guy. And this moment is when my control pad starts snapping up on me. I'm trying to repair my, my turret. It just doesn't work. Um, it's now starting to stick in ever now. So you notice when I go uh, further back in a minute, uh, basically I try and angle my tank, but aim at the same time. Uh, I think it's E50 or something that comes down this way. And you, you'll see my, my hull will just continuously move and it's knocking my, um, my aiming circle off all the time. And then, well, you can tell what's going on. You know what's going to happen. Yeah, see, just can't seem to stop it. Ah, and there we go. <laughs> At this moment, uh, <laughs> I think most of my platoon are dead. In fact, all my platoon are dead. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Not exactly the greatest game for your last game in the pattern, but. I couldn't be bothered waiting any longer. I wanted to get the tier 10 plans. Get it over and done with. Plus, I need to sell the uh, the uh, M46 pattern for the money for the tier 10 pattern because, well, I was down to um, 5.1 or 5.2 million just now. Um, I don't know exactly what was on, but all the um, tier 8s, 9s, and 10s are basically reduced by almost a million silver so I'll take advantage of that one get a pattern a little bit quicker so go on Borsig ah <laughs> T25 too is just literally just going straight for the R. <laughs> he's not even bothered about the Borsig behind him so come on take him out oh he's trapped him oh very trapped I don't know why people do that. At the end of the day, that pretty much every gun in the game has got enough penetration to get through the, uh, I don't know what you call it, maybe the mantle of the Rheinmetall board thing. Well, that, uh, like, gun shield, that's the one. Gun shield around the front. Uh, that thing's got no armour. Pretty much anything in the game can get through that thing. So, I don't know why you wouldn't just kill him first. Oh. Uh, what can you do? Go on, boss. Oh, yeah, I know it's a cap counter at the top. We've almost won anyway, so. Pretty much this boss just has to survive. Can he survive? Yeah, he's gonna survive. <laughs> just. There we go. So, I hope you like it, guys. Um, If you did, please like and subscribe.